Hey, this is Dan Nickerson. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate my video squeeze page templates into WordPress. This will actually work for anyone who's looking to integrate an HTML sales page, page, squeeze page into WordPress. Uh, and when I say integrate, I don't mean that you can use the editor to edit the page, um, but this will allow you to set it as your home page of your WordPress site without any custom HD access or anything like that. It involves putting a template into your WordPress theme directory and then using that page template uh, for your HTML. So I'm going to show you step by step how to do that. Now the first thing you need of course is your HTML squeeze page or sales page. If I go to my download page I have all my downloads here. I've actually already downloaded the video teaser uh, template as an example. And I should note in order to do this you will need to know FTP. Uh, you also need to know a little bit of HTML. Uh, but once again if you take it step by step and slowly you'll, you'll get it done. So the first thing I want to do is go to my FTP program, and I'm using Smart FTP. There are you know tons of FTP programs. Uh, FileZilla is a popular one. I like Smart FTP. You can also use your web host file manager to do this. It just takes a little bit longer. So I've actually gone to my uh, demo video WordPress install here that I have, and you can see on the right here I have my video tease template, and I've opened it up uh, to the HTML folder. Now I want to rename this folder actually. I'm going to rename it to squeeze. If I can type squeeze. So I'm renaming that folder. And then what I'm going to do is just going to drag it into my WordPress folder. And if it was your root directory, it would just go into public uh, HTML folder. So it's uploading all those files. Now I could edit it this way, but I'm going to show you how to edit it another way, um, which might be easier for someone that doesn't know a lot about FTP. So the next thing I want to do is go into my control panel. Most of you probably have cPanel. If not, your web host will have an equivalent of cPanel. You want to go to File Manager. And File Manager will actually show you all the files that are in your, in your system on your domain. And this is my demo video directory that I just uh, uploaded to. This is my squeeze directory that I just uploaded. This is my index.html uh, file. And what a lot of people don't know is that if you have an HTML file and not a PHP file, you can use WordPress um, File Manager HTML editor to actually edit the page just like it looks. It's actually a great tool. So you can go in here and customize my templates, you know, how to make you know videos, whatever. Um, and you can add in changing the text, all this stuff. And in my instructions I tell you how to change the form code and change the video or the video uh, cap in this case. But you need to go in the source code and in the source code, you can actually uh, see uh, here's the Aweber code. You'd add your Aweber code here and follow my instructions to uh, integrate it. Uh, and then this is the, uh, the video cap for this is where to it go. It's got to be over here to the right. There's the video cap image. Now, this is the next critical step. The critical thing is I need to actually use the full paths. You see where it says CSS slash style CSS? That's the relative path to my style sheet. Um, same with my JavaScript files here and also my images are all relative paths. In order to function properly in WordPress and to make sure that it all shows correctly, you need to get the absolute path. And that is going to be your domain name. In my case, it's hot video squeeze templates.com slash demo video. Remember, I did the squeeze directory. And that's the actual path. And I'm going to actually double check that. I'm going to copy that all open up a new page, paste it, and yes, that's that's correct. Um, I'm going to go back here, and then I want to copy this path again. And once again, if you don't know HTML, you know, it takes some getting used to you, but you just want to look for these little a source equals with the hrefs, and you want to replace these paths. So I'm just going to replace that and that. And I'm going to go, there's a couple more here. There is an image here. And there is an image right here. Okay, and that's done. So I'm actually going to uh, to uh, save that. I can go back here and click on save. Now I'm going to need this code again in a second, so I'm going to go back and edit it. Okay, the next step that we have to do is we need to create a custom uh, WordPress template. So back on this main page, I have this little bit of code here. There's two ways I can do this. I'm going to show you how to do it through File Manager. Uh, assuming if you know FTP, you'll know how to do this via FTP by creating a new file. But if I'm in File Manager, I can just go back into 
my demo video. Now I'm looking for my themes folder. This is Socrates. This is my uh, WordPress theme, by the way. If you don't have Socrates, it's one of my most popular products. I'm going to click on New File. I'm going to type in custom squeeze.php, create new file. And there it is. And then I want to edit that file. And I'm going to add in this little code that I have on my blog. And what this does is it actually creates a template name. And then it gives you a spot to enter HTML code here. So I'm going to save that. And uh, by the way, there's two ways I can do this. And I'm going to show you the fast way. So that HTML code that I have on this other page right here, see this code? I can go Control A, Control C, and I can copy that. And then I can paste that right there. And I click on Save Changes. Now I go back to my dashboard, okay? Click on Pages, Add New. I'll do Squeeze demo. This is the trick. I go to default template. I choose custom squeeze. I click on publish and it's okay. And now I just right click the view page and there's my video template. So it's right there. It's, you know, on my, in my WordPress blog, you can see the path is demo video slash squeeze demo. And if I wanted to, I could go into settings and reading and I could make that my main page save changes. Now I can just show you, I just click on the home page there and boom, now that's my home page, my blog. So that's how you use HTML, add a custom template, and then you then have that HTML sort of inside your WordPress theme. So it works with um, your WordPress install. Uh, and that's about it. One other little trick I will show you that you can also use redirect code with this. So say for example, you already have, uh, this is one of my sites. I'll go to my redirectcode.com. And let's just, as an example, let's say I put in Google and I reload. This could be the path to your existing sales page right here. I'm going to grab the meta refresh code, control A, control C. I'm going to go back to my custom squeeze template. I'm going to highlight all that below. I'm going to paste in that. I'm going to save it. And then this video teaser page becomes a redirect to Google. How cool is that? So it's a great way to integrate a site um, into your WordPress install. One other thing I'll show you is that if, say, you want to do a quick edit with this, you can actually go into Appearance Themes Editor now, and you can use the um, custom squeeze page template. Where did I put it? Right here. And you can actually make the changes right here. So you don't have to go back to the file manager once you've done it. And so this does work sort of like an HTML post editor. You can use this to actually edit your page directly from here. So. I hope this tutorial helps, and once again, you can get my templates at hotvideosqueezetemplates.com. Thanks.